Hello everybody, I am Mr. Ben. First I'd like to apologize for not making a video in a while as that um I don't really know what to make most of the time, so there's that. <laughs> so if you have suggestions on videos that you'd like to make me or you'd like for me to make for you to view in the areas of veteran issues, uh, photography stuff, or other art related things. Uh, comment down below and I'll try to do those. So what I'm going to do in today's video is show you some of my impressionistic photos that I've taken and I'll show you how I can take a photo and then turn it into an impressionistic style painting or digital image uh, using Photoshop. So uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you some of these impressionistic images. So these were all taken using a GH4 and a toy lens. So I'm using like a 24 millimeter Lomography lens to shoot these images and then changing them in Photoshop. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. All right. So you have things like this. And so these all started out as regular images and then I turned them into impressionistic photos or impressionistic uh, digital images. So let's go ahead and we'll take one. Let me find some one that's semi interesting here. So let's look at this, I guess. This is semi interesting. So what we're going to do is take this image and we'll open up this to begin with but I didn't and I don't know why and I don't know why this screen all of a sudden got really dark too so that's kinda strange let me oh I don't know if that makes a difference whatever alright so first thing I'm gonna do cuz I was shooting wide and just shooting whatever is I wanna change the composition here So we'll do this. So I try to shoot most of my stuff following some form of the rule of thirds. Even this original composition, as you can see, this is kind of like the rule of thirds here and probably about here. So we'll go ahead and crop that in. So we have this, and the first thing I'm going to do is come in here to my adjustments, and I am going to crank the saturation way up, like ridiculously high up. Alright, so we got that, I'm going to click OK. So now our colors are pretty much neon. What I'm going to do is come in here to the filter tab. I'm going to come down to other. I'm going to click maximize or maximum, sorry. And that's going to create this dabbed square look. We can adjust this down a bit because it's a little far away, so I don't want to over blow it. And just to show you what this does, if you crank this way up, it turns everything into just mush. So here for this image we'll probably use 10 pixels alright so now that we have that there at 10 pixels and it's kind of turned everything into an abstraction or given it even here an impressionistic look but this isn't really the way that I like mine to come out I'm gonna come over here to filter gallery being slow and I like to use 
this one called sprayed strokes for this. I set my strength. Uh, sorry, my brain's pittering out on me right now. My stroke length to 19, spray radius 23, and stroke direction vertical. So that creates, you know, like this really painted out, dabbed look. Hit OK. Bang. Look at that. That looks pretty nice. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to double check my image size just because I want it to be decent. Resolution. If I plan on this being printed, I'm going to set it to 300. And let it do its thing. And bang, there's the new image. Right like that. So then I'll go ahead and close that. And I will save and your typical high speed settings bang all right let's close photoshop and there you go here is our new image following the rule of thirds and impressionistic and actually this is a little too saturated so I'm gonna close that bring it back into Photoshop right. come on there we go the saturated look can look alright but for this particular image I'm gonna bring the saturation back down I might even tweak the hue a little bit just to give it a different look so whatever I guess we can set that back to zero that's fine hit OK let the computer work. Hit X. Close it out. Save. Computer work. Quit again. And there. Being slow. There we go. So there you go, you have this impressionistic image. And my suggestion to you guys is go out and shoot your photos. We live in a digital age. If you're not shooting film, shoot as much as you can. You never know, you run into interesting things. You know, you got these this couple here with at the bikes. You know, and even if nobody else enjoys your art enjoy your own art you know I haven't had a paying customer in quite a while enjoy your own art go out shoot you're gonna develop your eye and then when you do get a paying job because you've spent so much time shooting you know whatever and developing your artistic eye when it comes time to do something that's important you won't be sitting there wondering about how do you compose this or how do you compose that because you'll have already done it many many times in practice they say practice makes perfect and I don't know that that's necessarily true but practice does make permanent and that means that the more that you do something the more you're gonna be able to do it without thinking about it so Again, little impressionism. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. I'll try to improve for next time. I don't do a lot of YouTube videos because I don't know what to make. And I think I actually started my video saying that. And I'm ending the video saying it again. So uh, thank you, Mr. Ben, signing out.